Welcome back, my friends. This is Craig, and we're here with episode two on the Bromigo Craft server. And we have got a little bit of stuff done. Um, I cleaned up my little base hole area. I got some, I made all my cooking materials, got a quartz grindstone going to do early duplication of ores. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I've got some sandwiches ready to be eaten. Um, I have all my food stuffs in here, just some general stuff. What did I put? Oh, I started making modular storage, but I didn't have enough materials. Uh, I put down some garage doors just for uh, protection's sake while I'm AFK in here. This still goes directly upstairs, so technically I'm open to the elements that way, but that is fine. I found some cocoa and I set up some storage drawers. This is gonna be our entry level storage for now until we can get either the modular storage or uh, the ultimate goal for our applied energistics system set up. This is what we're gonna be starting with just because I can store larger quantities of material like jungle wood. I have a ton of jungle wood because I've been cutting down trees. Um, we got a few ores, I've used a lot of it. Um, I've got some automation set up over here five sterling generators which i'm gonna have to refill here soon and then i've got a sag mill and an alloy smelter going just for some ores that i've already collected up and are being processed As so um because i did a little bit of mining i got quite a few of the silent gems stuff but i've used a lot of it already for um my tools that i keep breaking it is not nighttime perfect um, go upstairs and show you a little bit what we got going on up here. I've been, as, as I get bored, I've been slowly cutting down trees. So I've got a good chunk of the area around cleared out. I got some fruit trees. Um, even with my Silent Gems axe, I'm noticing I'm only getting like one or two of the jungle trees before it breaks. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, I've got a little bit of farm stuff growing here. They keep getting trampled by mobs, so I started with more, and it's slowly being diminished, which is frustrating. But I will work on that um, and get that fixed up in the near future once we figure out where exactly we want to build our base. I'm still having lag issues when I generate new terrain. Like, if I get close to the edge of where I am, it'll start uh, really lagging out very badly. What is this down here? Um, maybe we looked at that last episode. Um, but I got a good amount of area cleaned out. More leaves than anything else, just because those are really easy to just break. Um, but I want to get this cleared out. I haven't decided yet where I want my base or what I want my base to look like. Um, I've always done, like, below ground caves or I've made um you know just taken like already pre-generated uh dungeons or something like that which i'd planned on doing in the series but i'm debating against it i think i might actually want to do a legitimate build um we've got all of the building mods that i could ever want uh except for micro blocks we don't have micro blocks but that's okay but we have um uh I'm drawing a complete blank. Um, we've got chisel. We've got the one that adds the garage doors. That one. Um, I'll think of it eventually. <laughs> Once I look at the garage door and it pops up on my Wayla. Um, oh, carpenter's blocks. Ha ha. I didn't even need to look at the garage door. Carpenter's blocks. Yeah. So we could do quite a bit with that. And uh, so I want to build a legitimate base. Get out of here. Yeah. Um, so that will be what we're doing this way. I've got it to just the rest of the ravine. And I've got the first couple layers lit up. And they are spawn free. i got to start working farther down. Um, I did have one little incident where one of the teleporting creepers teleported me down to the bottom of the ravine. And it was still dark. And that was scary. But I survived. I have yet to die over here. Uh, over here, I made a little bridge, and this is all lit up, and I've got my little mine down here. 
and I've just been just been doing some simple branch mining down at diamond level to get some silent gems, etc., etc. Um, I made a supercharged garnet pickaxe, which and I went and got it enchanted, which that's ready to be repaired. I also um, repaired this axe, but I don't know how the mending works, the mending enchant. If that takes XP or if that just, if it repairs on its own over time, I need to look into that. Because uh, I tried throwing some XP bottles and it did not repair the axe. I still had to use gems to repair it, so I don't know. Um, I may go supercharged on that one as well, just to expedite cutting down some trees. Uh, these are probably, yeah, these are all out of power, so these are going to start draining copper, tin, chaos. And the chaos is going to get stuck in there. But I just wanted to get you guys caught up before we get the episode started. Um, I don't really know what we're going to do today, to be honest. Um, I didn't get as much done as I would hoped, but... Let me see where we're at, and I'll see what we can get accomplished, and we will get this episode started. So I will see you guys back here in a minute. So I was just running around the jungle, and I think I stumbled across the first dungeon that we're going to attack once we're a little more set up. It's not far. Um, here's our base right down here. I went and checked out these ruins, and yeah, this came into came into the field of view here. Um, they've got the same banners that Dave... Wow! Yeesh! Okay. Okay. Those spawn a lot uh, farther away from what I thought they would. Are they following me? You got a, you got quite a range there, buddy. <laughs> oh, whoops. Um, they've got the same banners up that Dave has up at his base, if you've watched his Let's Play. And if you haven't watched Super Dave's Let's Play, why? Why haven't you? Go watch it right now. Stop my video, go watch Dave, and then come back and finish my video. But anyway, they've got uh, the banners up there, and these are not trivial dungeons, which I like. Um, my armor, I, I honestly would go take it on now if my armor and stuff wasn't on the verge of breaking and my food situation was a little on the dire side. So, um, yeah, that's definitely something I want to tackle relatively soon. Uh, looks like there is, yeah, there's an impact site over here, a lot more jungle. Um, I was just trying to get a little bit more uh, loaded in so we could just look and see what we have to work with. I want to find our area and start cleaning it out today. So I will load up some more of the map, and I will see you guys in a minute. All right, I figured since we were over here, we would go through the jungle temple. And I just I hopped up on the roof real quick to take a nap because you can't sleep on leaves. Um, shoot, where was the entrance? I literally just saw it. Oh, I came up here. There it is. There it is. Um, so let's go through this jungle temple on camera real quick, the one that we saw in the last episode. So that is the proper entrance there on the other side. Um, this is just a vanilla uh, vanilla dungeon type deal. Uh, there should be... yeah. And the vines are in the way, so nothing hit me. Oh, there's nothing in there anyway. Um, ooh, a division sigil. Okay. I'll take that, take some more bones, get rid of those, get rid of that. Um, I thought I had some zombie flesh. I don't need zombie flesh. I definitely don't need saplings. Those I've got in abundance. Cool. There's that. There should be another. Yeah, there it is. That one had something in it. Why do you look weird? And why is there nothing in you? Um, mossy cobble we can actually make. So that I'm not too worried about. It's cheap. It's cheap. So we're going to take our trip hooks. And... I honestly don't know how these work. I don't think anyone's ever figured out the puzzle. You just break through the wall. That's just how that works. Ooh, what are you? Well-fed gold helm of flight allows sneaking on air when equipped, food saturation when equipped, 
fills hunger when half empty. Oh, that is... Oh, and a calculator. That is actually nice. Ooh, look at this. Neat. Um, let's see what that does. Sneak in air, huh? Sneak in air. <gasps> oh, this, this is my new favorite helmet ever. Oh, you slightly, maybe I was hitting the vines. Da, da, da. Uh, oh, oh no. All right, so I'll have to talk to Doggeth about that. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. That was really cool. Um, so I am out of food, but uh, we did unlock... Unlock. Uh, we loaded in some extreme hills, so cave is here. Um, I believe the mine is heading off this direction. Um, so I might try to get it to steer this direction. It doesn't look like a very big extreme hills, but we are in dire need of emeralds so that is definitely something that I want to mine out that looks interesting that just started spawning in uh, that looks interesting this is the uh, castle that we saw uh, I tried to find this but oh no this was just like a rock outcropping um, yeah so there's lots of things to explore I'm thinking I'm thinking where we are is a relatively decent area for the base. I might build on this little peninsula here. Um, and then we have access to the extreme hills and we have access to the swamp and we're actually not too far from the plains here. And there was tons of horses. So I'm gonna finish cleaning out this peninsula area from where we are currently back to the base because it's actually not that uh, it's that way and it's not that far so I'm gonna work on cleaning this out and um, after I get some food and hopefully we'll have all that cleaned out by the end of this episode so I will bring you guys back in with a clearing out update oh look I'm actually almost there all right so see you guys in a minute so I went as far as I could until my axe was about to break I've got 19. 19 durability left on it. Um, it does repair with the mending just on its own. I haven't still figured out the mechanics on that yet. It's not quick. It's not like uh, auto repair or uh, any of those from, say, Tinker's Construct. Um, but that was as much as I could get done, and a good chunk of it was just me punching leaves. Uh, remember how I said I didn't need saplings? Yeah, saplings were good. Um... <laughs> Wood, we're good. I got mostly just oak trees at this point uh, and that clear out. But I think we're going to go do a quick new axe with maybe the supercharged silence gem crystals. And I'm going to show you just a quick rundown on that of what I figured out the other day. Let's get down here and throw this wood and such into a chest. Get rid of the saplings. Um, I'm gonna need to do a drawer for rubber. I don't believe I have one yet. Mr. Hades is back. Mr. Hades. Um, he just got his internet back today, so I'm assuming he's probably recording an episode because it's been a little while for him. He's been he has been gone uh, without internet. He got an update. Why are you are you both full? Oh yeah, you're both full. Look at you. New drawer for you and rubber wood. We will put up with the rubber. There we go. Doing a small test stream. Recording. Um, these are, okay, these are full. Um, that's not gonna do anything because it's got essence in there. Like that. Uh, resonating ore and mithril ore, these just go into, meow. Meow. Shut up, zombie. Okay, so we've got, what do we have a lot of? Barrel, we have nine. Um, let's look at Silent Gems. And we will look at our Supercharged. Does Onyx not have... 
Onyx does not have a supercharged variety. Um, so as you can see, we've got, I wish I could slide those up. Um, if we look at the Ruby and the supercharged Ruby, we have a durability of the standard Ruby at 768 uses, a mining speed of eight uh, with 10 enchant ability. If we supercharge it, now we have a durability of 3072 and a mining speed of 12. So it drastically increases the durability and the mining speed when you supercharge the crystals uh, or the, the gems. So what you want to do is find one with a decent durability to start. The Sapphire, the Eye Light, um, and honestly the Ruby are going to be your three best probably. Those have a mining speed of 7, 8, and 8. So do we have Rubies? We have three Iolite, and we have four Sapphires. Were those the ones that we were looking at? Iolite and Sapphire, yeah. So probably the Sapphire would be a good supplement. So which one's the Sapphire? I think it's this one. Yep. So we have three Sapphires. If we want to supercharge them, we require that Chaos Ore and some Redstone. It's actually not too expensive. So we're going to three, so we're going to need 18 of the Chaos. And six Redstone. Where's my Redstone? And I didn't bring a crafting bench over here Whoop! for some reason. I don't know why. I wasn't very smart. Um, so throw that in there, boom. Simple as that. Uh, the other problem is if you want to do a supercharged axe, um, supercharged sapphire axe, you can't use regular sticks. You need to use these ornate sticks, which are gold and iron and chaos, but you get eight of them. So I have some left over from my pick. Uh, so slap that on there. And let's just grab something quick. Now, see my... My uh, axe here is up to 21. It has repaired a little bit. Uh, let's get, yeah, that. We're just going to throw a little bit of repair on here um, just to get some durability back. Let's see what time it is. It's still daytime, barely still daytime, but that's okay because we have a sleeping bag. We can just sleep whenever we want. All right, let's head over here. I'm going to stop running and jumping. Hey, look, more hemp. Grab this while we're here. This stuff grows so slowly. Um, so let's take out this tree with our original axe. And there is that. So we can look at our new supercharged unenchanted axe. And the... Okay, so the break time is about the same. Uh, the speed on it without efficiency, which we don't have efficiency on there either, which we can put that on there pretty well. Mining speed of 12, mining speed of 8. Uh, mining level 4, mining level 2. I don't know why that would make a difference um, on an axe, but we've got the durability, which is the main thing I was looking for because we can come over here now. Did you just grow? And these big trees over here, the big super tall trees, we should be able to fell those with one go. That was one of the shorter ones, but I was having problems with these not reaching the top, and I had to place all the wood and climb up there and start again. Let's see if it'll reach the top. Oh, nope, it still won't. That must be a vein miner thing. But we can get the rest of this cleaned out, so that'll be awesome. So I am going to finish cleaning this out. We will take a look and see what we are left with, and we will finish off the episode with trying to start planning our base. So I will see you guys back here in a minute. So other than that floating branch I have yet to take care of, because every time I try to shift over there with my new fancy helmet, I get booted for flying. That's, uh, that's a pretty decent hunk of property there. Got some water hanging off both sides. We've got the ravine over there. We are standing on top of the dungeon. We have the extreme hills literally right there and there's a castle on top that's pretty neato 
I think this will do nicely. We've got the nice lagoons. We've, we're surrounded by water. Um, there's a little bit of cleaning up left to do. I want to do that little jut out right there. Um, should be this thing. And I pretty much want to take up this whole lake. So that little peak there will be about the middle. I still haven't decided what I want to want my base to look like yet. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments section down below. Um, I mean, I have a couple ideas, but I'm pretty much wide open at this point. Uh, things that I want to do inside my base, I want to have full applied energistics integration. I want to do, thank you, Mr. Hades. Um, I want to have uh, blood magic set up inside my house. I want to do a deep resonance area. And I would like to have as much of this as possible above ground. I want to avoid building underground this this series because it's something I generally do is build underground and um, probably a good idea to think of doing something else for a change and build above ground and build it fan fancy and nice and beautiful. So let me know in the comment section what you think of a base idea if you have one. If not, no big deal. But I think this is going to suit us nicely. Um, and when I say base idea, I'm thinking of a theme. Like, think futuristic, think medieval. Like, what would you like to see me attempt to build in a base? Like, what, what theme do you think would be fun to build to watch progress based on this landscape? So let me know in the comments section. I will see you guys next time. This has been Craig. Thanks for watching. Later.